Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be demonstrating another two-digit multiplied by two-digit example. Okay, the numbers that we have chosen this time are 62 multiplied by 42. So in this situation, uh, it's since it's a two-digit multiplied by two-digit sum, uh, what we need to fix up is the how many rods will be used or from which rod will start our calculation. So two-digit multiplied by two digits. So there are total four digits in play. So we'll be starting from the fourth rod on the abacus. Okay, so this is our first rod or the units place rod, units, tens, hundreds and thousands. So this is our fourth rod. So our calculation will start from this rod, fourth rod. What we do is we first consider the tens place digit of the uh, multiplier number. So here the multiplier is 42. So we'll consider the tens place digit, which is four. We we'll first take this four, multiply it with each of the digits of the multiplicand, where 62 is our multiplicand. So we'll multiply the four with six and then four with two, finish the first part and then move to the second part where we'll multiply the units place digit with the each of these two digits. Okay, so we'll start from the fourth rod. Four multiplied by six will be our first step. Four multiplied by six which is 24. So 24 will be taken from this rod, fourth rod, so 24. Then we'll move one place to the right, which is the third rod. And on this third rod, what we'll do is, we'll multiply the four, tens place four, with the units place digit of the multiplicand. So four multiplied by two, which is eight. But our answer will have to take it as zero eight. Remember, in while multiplying uh, any number on the abacus, Whenever we multiply a single two single digit numbers, the answer always has to be considered as a two digit number. So even if the answer is a one digit number, we'll prefix a zero to it and make it a two digit number. So four multiplied by two will be considered as zero eight. So zero on this rod and eight on the next rod. Remember, this is a very important step. Simple one, but very important because if we don't take it as zero eight and only eight, then the entire answer will go wrong. Okay, so our, now our first part of the calculation is done. Now we'll use the units place digit of the multiplier, that is two, and multiply it with each of the digits of the multiplicand. So two multiplied by six will be our next step, and it will start from the third rod this time. Okay, so from the third rod, I'll be doing two multiplied by six, which is 12. I'll add 12 from this rod. So for adding 12 from this rod, it will be one on this rod. So one done and two will be added on this rod, which will be done using its big friend formula minus eight plus 10. Okay, now we'll move one place to the right that is coming to the second rod. Now, the final step is two multiplied by two. Which is which will be taken as zero four. Okay, zero four. So zero here and four on the next rod. So the final answer that we have after multiplying sixty two multiplied by forty two is two six zero four. Okay. So please do try it out yourself.